Sushi-Z with Sushi-Z. First we put our rice in, like this. Which is a rice that's specially formulated for the sushi mixture. So we load in our rice into both sides as such. I've had my teaching experience from my brother Ryan. So this is the first time that I'm actually trying to do this myself. As we can see, it's a little bit freestyle. I've just realized I haven't chopped up the chicken, but one of the tips that my brother Ryan gave me was to put it on here. I'll put the link to Ryan Hart's video after this, if you would like to check that out. So we've simply got that, and then we grab our chicken, which I've got here. I'm actually doing a bit of a fusion here, and I have some lemon and herb chicken, which I'm simply going to slice across the way. You should get any California rolls and your other nonsense there, mate. Just put that in there like that. Not too thick, otherwise you'll run into problems later. In fact, as you can see, this one piece of chicken's going a long way. I'm a bit of a meat eater, so I like to fill it right up to the end. If I wanted a vegetarian one, I'd make it, but I'm not. So here's, press also in a nice bit of cucumber, I like the Lepanese ones because they're burpless. You can see that one's a bit too big. I'm not a fan of mayo, so I'm not putting any mayo on mine. So then we simply have to put this in here as such and then shut this which let's have a look i think you've got to do it quite quickly by the looks of it so it shuts fine like so that's it and then we close this over as such and one thing we have to do is put the lid on the end as ryan hart said we should put as a bit extra in the end here just to keep that in then I think we just twist that there's a little groove there it locks in place somehow yep that's it now we twist this as such and that's just compressing the log the sushi log as so I think that's it okay so then what we do next is we just make a bit of room. I only like using roll Dilton knives, but you are welcome to use your own. Now we simply put down your piece of nori seaweed that you're going to use and put a little bit of water into a glass or a shot glass as I prefer, even though it's my first time. And then we simply get the sushi easy and place across and twist and push out along as such. That looks beautiful. Uh, kind of shot it a little bit short here but we'll just leave that because I fear if I move it I'll simply ruin it so now what we'll do is simply roll this over like that and with that shot glass you can put the rice sesame oil if you want but I find water is fine 
I've been told from Ryan Hart. There's a bit of water there just to hold it up. Roll again. Like I said, that one's a little bit short in the end. I should have lined that up a bit, but that's no big problem. I've also been told to use the, uh, this serrated bread knife. This serrated bread knife just gives a better cut. So what we'll do now is we'll get a nice serving dish. I myself only serve on Versace. I'm not too sure what Ryan Hart's using. And then we'll start here and we'll just simply carefully slice down. Normally the first one falls apart, I was told, which is what's happened here. We'll make them a bit thicker maybe. And just carefully slice that down. I think I could have done with maybe compacting the rice a little bit more. But we'll see how this looks. What I'm actually doing is I've decided to cut through to the bottom and then I'm going to use a standard butcher's knife to cut down to the bloody bottom of the thing and I think that'll be it here there's one more there it's quite a big log and then I'm just going to use this just to make sure I've got through the bottom of that nori Yep. Now, to remove these, hopefully they don't fall apart. That one's got stuck. These are all got stuck. Let's see, it just didn't cut in enough. So we just slice down like that. And that is my first run. I think I've stuffed that one up, haven't I? Yep. The yeah, one's all right. And that is my first run of the sushi easy. As you can see, put that, serve that up with some soy sauce, some wasabi, and some sliced pickled ginger, and you're in for a treat. Thanks for watching. Like I said, I'll pop the link in later for Ryan Hart's version, and we'll see how we go with that. Enjoy.